Now this question is related to a ratio of work done in isothermal and adiabatic process. So let me read the question. This is a certain mass of nitrogen. So this means mass is fixed. So this means number of mole is also fixed. So it's given a certain mass. This means mass is fixed. This means n is also fixed because mass and mole are related by molecular weight is compressed eta times so let us say initial volume is b1 so final volume is eta times uh, it says five times so this is v by eta so initial volume is v naught so final volume will be v naught by eta so it says compressed so initially v1 is v naught finally v2 will be v naught by eta because question says it is compressed <coughs> sorry five times first adiabatically and then isothermally so this is done by two way so one way is adiabatic and the second is it is done by isothermal so there are two way of compressing the thing i can compress adiabatically and isothermal in both cases initial state of the gas was the same so this means volume is v naught temperature is let us say t naught and pressure is p naught in both cases initial stage is same find the ratio of respective work done in each compression now we have to find work done in each process let us discuss fast adiabatic process So if you remember work done in adiabatic process is So do you, do you remember work done in adiabatic process This is in adiabatic process dq is equals to 0 so dq is equals to du plus dw and dw is simply minus du and du is minus ncv dt are getting now n cv is r by gamma minus 1 if you remember and dt is t2 minus t1 now i have to express t2 t1 in terms of pressure and volume because it has been said that volume v2 becomes v0 by eta so i can try to express t2 in terms of v1 so you see equation of process for adiabatic is pv gamma is equals to constant this is the equation i want to express temperature in terms of volume so let us say uh, i want to have t2 t1 is t0 t1 is t0 let us say t2 i want to find t2 let me write this equation in terms of t and v i want this equation in t and v you will understand why i want so I apply PV is equals to NRT. So P will be NRT by V. If I plug this value, we will have NRT by V. V to the power gamma. This is constant. Are you getting? So this will be TV gamma minus 1. This NR is constant. So TV gamma minus 1 is constant. So this is the process. Now you see t1 is t0 v1 is v0 to the power gamma minus 1 is equals to t2 i want t2 and v2 is eta times v0 raised to the power gamma minus 1 so from here i can write t0 v0 to the power gamma minus 1 v0 to the gamma minus 1 cancels out so i will have t2 t0 is equals to t2 into eta to the power gamma minus 1 If you have copied this one, I can go further. So this means I have expression for T2. So T2 will be T0 divided by eta to the power gamma minus 1. Are you getting? Now let us calculate DW. So in this case DW will be minus NR gamma minus 1 t2 is t0 divided by eta to the power gamma minus 1 minus t0 
So if I take T not common, so this DW will be minus NR T not by gamma minus 1. And this is so 1 minus eta to the power gamma minus 1 divided by eta to the power gamma minus 1. So this is the work done in adiabatic process. Are you getting or not? If you want, you can absorb this minus sign also. Let us say find work done in isothermal process. So if I find work done in isothermal process, and this is easy. So work done in isothermal will be PdV and PB is equals to NRT. So P can be written as NRT by V dV. Now temperature is constant. Initial temperature is T naught. So temperature remains constant. So I can write n at t naught dv by v. Initial volume is v naught and final volume is v naught by eta. So this will be work done will be n r t naught ln v2 by v1. So v naught by eta divided by v naught. That is you can directly use the formula n r t log v by v i. So from here you will have n r t naught ln 1 by eta. And if you take minus sign outside, you will have minus n r t naught ln eta. So this is the work done in isothermal process. Let us call this equation 2 and the previous one equation 1. So work done in adiabatic process, let us call equation 1. I think all of you have copied this one. Now if you find ratio of work done in adiabatic process divided by work done in isothermal process, you will have adiabatic by isothermal that is I can directly write the answer that there is a NRT naught here and there is also NRT naught so NRT naught goes out minus sign also goes out so here you have a minus sign. So you will have this term and divided by L and eta are you getting here you will N and eta so this term this and this divided by L and eta. So I can write the, the, the whole term at one place 1 minus eta to the power gamma minus 1 eta to the power gamma minus 1 divided by eta to the power gamma minus 1 into 1 by gamma minus 1 uh, into L and eta. Are you getting or not? So this is the work done by the gas. The question asks what is the ratio of work done on the gas then I have to take a minus sign also. So question asks in both cases find the work done by the gas. So if I want to find work done on the gas, simply I have to take a minus sign. So work done ratio of work done So work done on if somebody asks on gas. In that case, this work done, that is the this, this will be negative, so minus minus plus. Here also we will have negative that is minus minus plus but there is ratio remains same. Are you getting or not? In both cases ratio will be same because minus minus cancels out in this case. In that case plus plus will cancel out. So ratio remains same. Are you getting or not? Work done on the gas will be plus because I have to multiply by minus sign but the ratio remains same. Are you getting? If you see the answer of this question, uh, there is a difference in minus sign. In answer I think it is given eta to the power 1 minus gamma minus 1. So there is a mistake in the answer. Are you getting? So this will be the ratio of work done in the two processes. Work done in isothermal process and work done is adiabatic process. This is quite simple problem. You have to only find because work done in temp, uh, adi, uh, isothermal process is nrt log v by vi and that's why I want to eliminate temperature and that's why you have expressed the work done in adiabatic process as a function of temperature you see why you have taken this adiabatic process working in terms of temperature because I know 
work done in isothermal process is coming out to be in terms of temperature and that's why I expressed work done in adiabatic process as a function of temperature so that I can keep cancelling temp T0 to T0. Now we will discuss the next problem. I think all of you have copied this one. Pretty easy problem. A straightforward. 